How's it going, everybody? This is uh, Analog Sound System, and we're an entertainment studio group out of uh, Toronto, Canada. And I just wanted to show everybody uh, just really quickly how to use the Dolby Noise Reduction System. Um, I noticed a lot of uh, a lot of younger uh, people out there are getting back into cassette tapes and reel-to-reels. Uh, I I always surf the forums out there, uh, you know, uh, um, Audio Karma dot org and um, home recording and whatnot and I always notice that there's a lot of people going back to tapes um, we always use tapes in our recordings uh, even to this day um, you know it's mp3s and all kinds of uh, you know everybody's using pro tools and stuff like that but we actually down mix our recording back on the tape just because the the sound quality we like the the low ends it's very very it's very evident that the low ends are, are very powerful in tapes so um, anyway um, you know, for a lot of the, 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 the young people getting back into cassette tapes, uh, I always see the stories that they always put up saying that, you know, their mother or father had, uh, you know, had put it in a closet and it's just been in the closet for years and, you know, now they just want to mess around with it and see how it, what it's all about. And, um, you know, or they find it in a basement or something, right? Or they go to a thrift store and they think it's really cool. They buy it for like 20 bucks, right? So um, I figured, uh, you know, I'd show everybody just a really quick uh, tutorial, uh, a lot of the newer people out there, how to use the Dolby Noise Reduction System and, and um, the benefits out of it. Um, first of all, Dolby Noise Reduction um, is, is essentially just to knock out the hiss noise, the, the noise floor that, that uh, cassette tapes produce. Um, cassette tapes have a very, very narrow, um, you know, it's very narrow, the, the tape strip itself. So... It, it produces quite a bit of noise and uh, there's a lot of biasing that's adjusted and all that kind of stuff that's involved in this so um, you know it's uh, the Dolby helps compensate for all this noise that's uh, generated by these tapes so um, you know really quickly uh, you know back in the days during the 70s the 80s the 90s and you know the early millennium times uh, you know the uh, the common person buying tapes they're always probably recording from the radio recording um, their LPs, uh, you know, later on the CDs and whatnot. And a lot of people had neglected the use of Dolby noise reduction. As a matter of fact, people never use a Dolby noise reduction in its off state. Uh, it was always in the off state, ri rather. And when they were playing it, they were, then they would turn it on. Um, and that's not actually how to use it. Um, you have to record with the Dolby um, on, and you'd have to play back with the same uh, Dolby position on. If you're using Dolby B, you record with Dolby B and you play back with Dolby B. If you're using C, same thing. So, um, you know, I'm going to show everybody really quickly. I'm going to uh, play uh, one of my uh, CDs here. Uh, I think I got Chaka Khan on the CD there. And I'm going to just uh, show everybody um, uh, first. The first recording will be without Dolby. And then the second recording will be with Dolby. I will choose Dolby C in this example just to show people uh, what, uh, what it does. Okay. So just really quickly, I just want to show, you know, uh, the people out there, the uh, the tape hiss that is produced uh, with no noise reduction system at all. So I'll hit play here. And I'm sure you guys can hear that. That's the uh, the tip noise being produced out of the, the tape itself. It's in a blank uh, area there. So uh, what we're going to basically do is uh, we're going to use a noise reduction to, uh, to, to clear that out. If I put it to Dolby B... You can hear the, the hissing has minimized a bit, so it's it's pretty much bearable. If I put it back to the opposition, there's a hissing again. If I put it to Dolby C, you can see it's pretty much eliminated almost everything. So, um, you know, I'm going to use the C in this example um, and show people just exactly, you know, how, how nice it is to enjoy your tapes. <laughs> so, um, let's uh, go back here. And uh, let's set this CD up. Now, the first recording I'm going to do is, um, I'm, well, before I actually make the recording, I just have to set the levels up. And we're just going to show everybody really quickly how to do that. Because essentially, um, and I know uh, the lighting here is uh, not the greatest, and I really apologize to all my viewers out there. Um, but uh, let me just uh, move this uh, right here. And... Um, Basically, this meter here, um, there's a little, I know it's kind of hard to see it, but there's a little square here. 
Um, all these other little dots here, which you guys probably see is just dots, it's just showing 30, minus 30, minus 20, tw uh, 12, 8, 5, 4, minus decibels. Then there's a Dolby uh, logo right there, and then there is the zero decibel, and then plus 2, plus 4, plus 7 in red. Um, this uh, square here is actually essentially where we want the, the levels to go, so you can get your optimized uh, Dolby um, uh, you know, noise reduction as well as compensating with keeping the, the frequencies in, in a good state. So uh, that's pretty much recommended with, uh, you know, it's different in every deck. You know, some, some decks, the Dolby logo is at the minus six. Some of them are at the plus two. It, it all varies. Um, I've seen most of them in the zero area anyway. So um, that's essentially where Dolby works at its optimal, and it sounds great. So um, let's do a little test really quickly. Uh, I'm just going to hit play. I'm going to arm the deck first. We're not going to do any reco uh, recordings. We're just going to do the record arm. It basically just sets it up so you know how to set your levels. And I'm just going to hit play. We'll see what's going on. And you guys can see it's already going up at uh, at about uh, plus two. That's fine. That's totally fine. It's peaking over here at plus two, and the uh, it's well, you know, right in the middle where the where the Dolby logo is. So that's perfect. All right. So we're gonna hit stop there, and then we're gonna make our first recording without the Dolby, and then I'm gonna make a second recording with the Dolby and we're gonna choose Dolby C today, okay? All right, let's go Let's go for it. So we've re hit record. Now I'm just gonna turn on the CD here. Okay, so that's uh, that's our uh, test for the non-Dolby recording. Now I'll just hit stop there, and uh, we'll try that again with uh, with the Dolby. Now again, here is uh, the Dolby uh, button right here, and then B is to the left and C is to the right. So I'm just gonna flip that over to the C position. That's Dolby C, so it's on, and we're gonna make that recording again uh, with the Dolby C on. Okay, so. Check this out.
so there you have it. Um, two recordings, one with Dolby and one with no Dolby. So I will turn that back to the opposition. I'm going to rewind it now, and we're going to play it back. Um, you know, we'll start with the recording with no Dolby, and we'll start with the recording with Dolby. So I have it in the opposition. We're just going to just cruise in there like that and uh, make sure I get everything all cued here right. All right. Okay, so I'll just turn that on and let you guys uh, listen for yourself and let me know what you guys think. So this is with the Dolby off, and like I said, this is where um, the more the most common thing that a lot of people were doing was recording without any sort of noise reduction. So you were getting this hissing noise with your uh, with your music. So I'll go ahead with that. Play it. Check it out. Okay, so I'll hit pause there, and you guys can pretty much see that that is how it sounded with no Dol no uh, Dolby noise reduction. Um, it sounded pretty good. The frequencies were, were there because we were using a Type 2 cassette tape, um, but there is just this background noise, right? So I'm going to flip that over to, to Dolby C, and uh, I'm going to hit play again with the second recording with the Dolby um, feature on, okay? And uh, let's try it again. And you notice there's like no hissing now, right? Sounds much better, right? So there you have it, everybody. That is a little tutorial as to how to use the Dolby noise reduction system. So you know, it uh, it's a big difference. You know, you're you're basically listening to noise, uh, background noise that you know this is with it off, and that's with it on. You know, I'm using Dolby C there, but so that pretty much uh, sums up uh, how to use noise reduction. So all the new school is out there that's uh, keeping the analog device academy, if I if I'll call it that, I guess. Uh, alive, um, you know, more power to you. This is uh, this is a, a great way to uh, to know how to you know use these devices properly, and uh, it's good to know that uh, a lot of people out there are keeping the uh, the oldie uh, but goodie devices alive. You know. Anyway, uh, practice and enjoy. Enjoy your music, and uh, yeah, I'll put up some more videos. All right, take care.